Devin is async, right? And so from this point onward, the nice thing about this is once you kick off the Devin session, Devin's going to start working and looking through the code and reading online about chat POD, for example, right? And it's going to do all this, but you're not expected to be there with it. It's going to work on its own. It's just as if you gave your intern a project and your intern is going and working on it. You can go take a quick look and see how your intern is doing, but you don't have to be sitting there with Devin for every step of the way here. And so one way that we kind of describe it is for a lot of tasks, there's often this, this synchronous component and then this asynchronous component, right? And a lot of what search and wiki is for is for doing the synchronous part of the task before you do the async. So you kind of have the first few minutes of going back and forth with Devin, your intern. And then as soon as you hit go on the Devin prompt, you're kind of expecting it to be more of an asynchronous thing where you don't have to be in the loop. One of the benefits of this from a how I AI use case is you can multi-thread a lot with tools like this and set two, three, four, five, ten of these going at once on different projects and not feel like you have to sit there and babysit things.